Rihanna, I don't know what you did with this, but I don't think I like it. Hey guys, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are doing another hygiene shopping and vlog. Since you guys love that so much, I'm doing one today. So today, I am going to go to Target and Sephora. Now, I'm running out of a few things in Target, like some dental hygiene. I need some more toothbrush heads. I need a new toothpaste. And also, I'm just going to look around and see some new body products and hygiene products I want to get. Also, I'm going to go to Sephora because I really want to try the Fenty Beauty beauty body scrub and i want to try their body balm so i'm gonna get that today i may just get one i really do want the body scrub today but i've been wanting some new hygiene products because i'm running out of some of my body washes so i really want some new ones today so the first stop we're gonna make is target and then second will be sephora i'm really trying to hurry up and record everything before it starts raining because it kind of looks like it's about to start raining y'all so i want to jump straight into the video straight into target so i just made it to target and i'm still starting in the dental section just because I want to get my dental care first and right now I'm just looking for Sensodyne because I really like that brand I have used some other brands I think I've used Tom's and 360 but I want to get the whitening one because uh, I like when it has whitening properties it just makes my teeth like look better so yeah I wanted to get that and then some toothbrush heads i'm trying to remember what brand mine is i think i'm trying to think i don't really know if you can like mix and match it like if you can get another brand and use it i don't know if you guys know please let me know down below i do have i think mine is actually oral b yeah i think i have the oral b one so i should get like the oral b toothbrush heads i'm trying to here it is i see some over here and they have the flosses i really need some floss like i said i want to get the thick ones like you guys see how this is thick like the thick i like that one better than the stringy ones now we are in the body wash section i want to get some new body washes and i really like this brand i like the aesthetic it's very minimal I like the colors. I think that this is what I am going to go for, actually. Now, I want something moisturizing. I know they have like different types, and I want something that's super moisturizing because it has clarifying, smoothing, all of these like different types. And I think this is the one I want to go for. And then the raw sugar body scrubs. That is my favorite of all time. I love raw sugar. But I am... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get another body wash. I just want to start off with this new one. I do want to get like a shaving gel or cream. I think. Just because... Um, I've been wanting to try like different kinds. And a body scrub. So I want this one. I like the aesthetic and the color of this brand this is a new brand that i haven't really seen in target and i want to try this really bad i just really like the packaging of their products and i do want to get a shaving gel i just don't really know like what type of gel i want what type of cream i want i haven't really done any research like this is literally just me just picking products that i think look cute right now i have heard of the cremo but i haven't heard a lot of things about it so i don't know should i get this one i don't know i wish you guys were here so you could help me decide i may get that one and then I see the Venus. They have a shaving gel. I like the packaging. It's super cute. And it's so floral. But that's not a lot of product. Like, I want a lot of product. Like, that seems like literally nothing would come out. Uh, let's see what they have. They have the Skin to Mint, which I like their dry skin. And then they have the Satin Care with the ultra sensitive i think that sounds good for me because i have really really sensitive skin yeah i have really sensitive skin so i think i'm gonna go for this shave gel for the sensitive skin 
now i love this part of this target it's like the little area in the middle and they have all these cute scrubs and body faces and back scrubs i just think it's super cute to look here because they also have the little travel size items and they have bath bombs i just love this little section i am just looking around i've never tried this one brand it's called beloved I think it's called Beloved or something. They have like a whole bunch of little flavors. Now I see that Dr. Teal's, they have a foaming bath. I don't know why that's pushed in on the side, but I do want to try their body wash because I really like their Epsom salt soaks. So I think I'm going to get this for sure. Now we are in the deodorant section <laughs> you guys i have talked about native before and their deodorant broke me out secret is also really really bad i've used secrets deodorant before and i feel like it comes right off like that literally does nothing for me if you guys know any really good deodorants that you like let me know i really like the dove even tone deodorant now, if you guys don't know what tin skin is, this is perfect for strawberry skin, razor bumps, ingrown hairs. You need this 110%. Okay, so we are back in this section. This is kind of like the lame target in my area. It's not as much as the other target, as you guys can see. They have more of the product that I told you guys about, but uh, they don't have a lot of scrubs and stuff this one it looks like it's more so lacking but i like that nivea lotion it smells really good it smells amazing you guys see it's almost out of stock and um just looking around at the lotions gold bonds is my all-time favorite aquaphor is also really good i really like their lip balm it keeps me moisturized all day long Flamingo is one of my favorite brands of all time. I really love every single thing that they put out, so definitely check them out. I didn't know that Target sells Hemp's lotion. I thought that was only an Ulta. Hmm. Okay, we are in the feminine hygiene section. And look at all of these products. You do not need all these products for your downstairs area, ladies. They have some sensitive wipes, which is good for like in between your thighs, your armpits, after you go to the gym. I definitely suggest that. And then we have some pads. I don't use pads, not really. I used to in high school and stuff, but like now, I love my menstrual cup. It's really clean and it makes everything so much easier when it comes to my cycle. It's really easy to put in. I actually have a video on it if you guys want to see. I've heard of a cotton tampons <laughs> i've actually read reviews on it because i was considering it and people said really bad things like they said like it didn't last da 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 that's why i kind of prefer like regular tampons in my opinion i don't know i don't think i would try the uh cotton ones i'm not sure how well that would work but yeah all right i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got so i didn't get a lot of things oh girl it's heavy oh my god my my wrist it's so heavy okay so i ended up getting these flossing picks just because the floss that i have i don't like it like okay you guys see how this floss is kind of thick it smoothly goes in between your teeth i have the floss that's literally like just like um a really thin and it just i don't know it gets hard to get my back teeth so after that, I decided to get uh, the Dr. Teal's body wash. This is just for relaxing my body. And if you know Dr. Teal's, like all of their products is just like for relaxing, for relief, which I really, really enjoy. And I've never used their body wash. It has Epsom salt, so I'm excited to use this. And then I ended up getting this body wash, which I am actually really excited to try. It's supposed to be a moisturizing body wash. And it also says it has vitamin, vitamin B complex, grapefruit, and orange peel. So let's go ahead and smell it. Oh my, oh my God, it smells so good. Well, y'all, I think this is definitely going to be, it says 100% natural fragrance. 
interesting oh it's vegan oh okay so on the back it has all of these like bullet points i guess that they hit okay and then i decided to get another shaving gel and i decided to get the satin care ultra sensitive shaving gel i'm really excited to try this in particular um let's see i think this is Mm, I think this is gonna be one of the things that I try because y'all I need to shave I need to shave my body my body is starting to look kind of crusty and I'm super excited about this product you guys okay now this is a line that I just recently have seen in Target and I'm like is it new like I've never seen this before the packaging is interesting and it's just a whole bunch of colors you guys can see the packaging yourself and I'm sorry it's like really bright outside but yeah, so let's open it and let's look at what, let's see what it looks like. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Let me make sure it's focusing so you guys can really get a clear look. Look at this, you guys. It looks really good. I want to get a little bit on my finger just so I can see the consistency. This is really different from the other scrubs that I have. Hmm, it is really different from other scrubs I have. And I think that's everything that I got from Target. Let me check. Because what I really wanted to get today is the Fenty stuff. Oh, and then last but not least, I did get this Sensodyne Pro Enamel Whitening Toothpaste. Some people ask me, do you whiten your teeth? What do you whiten your teeth with? And I don't whiten my teeth. I just um, brush my teeth every day, but I have gotten it professionally whitened before. I got it whitened in high school, um, which was years ago, years, years. I got it whitened for like my graduation and my teeth were so freaking white. I do want to get my teeth whitened again. I am getting Invisalign. My top is fine. It's just my bottom that I need it because my wisdom teeth are coming in and it's shifting my teeth. Oh, so annoying. So I'm going to get Invisalign in a couple of months, which I'm really excited about. But it's going to be like braces all over again, which I can't. Okay, so now let's go to Sephora to get the Fenty Body Balm and the Fenty Body Scrub. Just made it to Sephora. This is the Butter Drop, I think. The packaging is kind of more bling than I thought it would be, but yeah it's kind of like the fenty skin aesthetic and here's the scrub and everything but i think i'm just going to get the butter drop and it's 40 dollars. so yeah let's get that i am going to home goods because i'm trying to find a storage container for all of my hygiene products i need that asap okay guys so i did my hygiene haul yesterday so now I just want to give you guys a review of the Fenty Skin Buddy Drop. So I did end up only getting the Butter, butter Balm just because like I was looking at the reviews of the body scrub and it didn't look as good as the Butter Drop. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna just try this product out. I don't want to get the scrub because I don't really see a lot of good reviews on it. This product got a lot of hype. Like when I tell you guys the reason why I even considered getting it is because it got a lot of hype. So I was really excited to see and to try the product. So I will say that the consistency is absolutely amazing. I think that it's very thick, which is perfect for a body butter. I think that it goes on very smoothly. Now, the only thing that well, two things I have an issue with. One thing is I thought the fragrance would be different. Now, when I smell this body butter, to me, it smells like kid, like little girls' makeups. You know, like the makeups that we use when we were kids and stuff, and like the little lip gloss packages. That's what it smells like to me. And that's like no shade or anything. I just feel like when I saw the reviews and I saw people talking about it, I thought that everybody loved the smell that's what i thought it was and i have the dior jador body butter and oh my gosh like it's the best ever and i love it the fragrance lasts on you all day this fragrance will probably last you like an hour or two so i don't think that it's worth the hype when it comes to scents if i have to give it a rating when it comes to scents i would probably 
probably give it like a five. It's not bad, but it's not like what I expected from Fenty. It did not keep me moisturized all day. So if I'm getting a good body butter, I expect it to keep me moisturized all day long. I expect my skin to feel really soft and smooth all day with it. This literally only lasted me a few hours and then it literally went away and my skin was super dry afterwards. And with the Dior J'adore, that kept my skin super moisturized all day long. Whenever I put it on, all day long. Like I am in love with that and I know that it is pricier and more expensive, but it just works for me. So I guess with this Fenty but a drop, I really had super high expectations because there was a lot of hype and I just thought it would be a really amazing product, like a product that I would literally rave about. But honestly, you guys, it's really not. Like if I had to give it a rating out of one out of 10, I would give it probably a seven. It's not a bad product, but it's not worth all of the hype that it gets. So I will tell you ladies, if you do wanna get this product, probably know that the fragrance will not last you all day it will not keep you thoroughly moisturized like it's supposed to i feel like when i'm getting a body butter i shouldn't think about reapplying it throughout the day i should literally put it on in the morning and it should keep me moisturized and smelling good all day long that's what i personally feel like now with lotions and stuff I love the Hemp's Lotion. They have one of the best fragrances. They keep me moisturized for a long time and it's a freaking lotion. And I feel like that lotion is better than this body balm. Now, like I said, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's just not what I thought it would be. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. Like, I don't know, Rihanna, I don't know what you did with this, but I don't think I like it. Now, I kind of am thinking of getting that Kylie Skin Lotion. Um, this one girl I follow, she's been talking about it and she says it smells so good. So I may actually order that next. So stay tuned. Y you know, I may do a review on it. Okay, another thing. I was trying to go to Home Goods because I was trying to find like a storage drawer container that I can store all my beauty, hygiene, all those products in. Because when I tell you guys, I have a lot of products. Like I have too many products. I feel like at this point I'm becoming a hoarder. I get sent products, I buy products. It's a lot of them and I wanna keep them stored correctly. My drawer does not have any more room. Like I have products literally sitting on my sink and stuff. It's really bad. So if you guys have any suggestions of like the places I should go to shop, or like any online places I should go to. I know like I wanna look in Ikea. The only thing is like my apartment's really small so I don't have a lot of room and I'm not moving until next year. So it's like, mm, do I really wanna spend a lot of money right now on a drawer or do I wanna just wait until I move? Or cause if I get a plastic drawer, I'm gonna have to like give it away or like sell it or something because I'm not taking that with me when I move, so that's the only thing. We are going to jump into first impressions. In all of my hygiene vlogs, I do first impressions of products and stuff. Now with Fenty, the reason why I didn't do this on camera was because with body lotions and body butters, I kinda wanna do this thing now in my vlogs where I do it the day after, so I can like give it a 24 hour wear test with like body washes and oils and stuff like that. Like that's like, immediate results but for body butters and lotions i want to start doing like let me take like 24 hours to see how it works so yeah also if you guys have any product suggestions that you want me to try or want me to pick up in target please let me know i'm in target every single day and i would love to like vlog and pick out products that you guys suggested because i feel like you guys know like a lot of products that you like or i would like and i really want to try it so yeah let's jump into first impressions i'm gonna pick three products to test out. Okay, so here are all of the products that I got yesterday, excluding the Fenty Beauty, because I already tried that and gave y'all my review. I really want to try this Quiet and Roar body scrub, just because I've been seeing it in Target all the time, and I kind of just want to see if it's a good brand. I like how it says it's cruelty free and all that stuff and when I looked at how the consistency was I really liked it so I'm definitely trying 
this body scrub today and plus it smells really good then you guys know i need to try a body wash which i'm so excited about it's just really cool to me how they have all of these little best for skin that's blank on the back i think that's cool it kind of matches my nails actually but yeah we're gonna try that too okay guys so i decided to try this body wash and you already know that i love the smell the smell is so good if you like citrusy smells you're gonna absolutely love this body wash i don't even really like citrusy smells and i love this smell it's like a grapefruit orange peel type of smell so the first thing i noticed when i use this product is that it lathers really really well i love how it lathers it makes me feel really clean and it's really easy to apply and even after i wash it off it didn't feel like there was any residue it didn't feel weird or my skin didn't even feel dry so it says that it's a moisturizing body wash and it's a hundred percent true this is very very moisturizing for it to have fragrance it is still a really moisturizing body wash now I didn't know what to expect with this quiet and roar body scrub but you guys I freaking love it honestly I think this is my new favorite body scrub what it does that I've never seen a body scrub do before is it's kind of soapy like it lathers on your skin kind of like it has soap in it or it's washing your skin while it's exfoliating it i love the smell i think this is a newer brand so i feel like they need to come out with some new scents some new type of um colors and fragrances because i would really buy every single thing that this brand puts out i want to go back to the store and get their body wash that pairs with this because i love this body scrub i wish the container was bigger i feel like there should be more product for the price but overall i really did love this product okay guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up it helps my channel so much i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one bye